Welcome builders, Andy is Jordi here. Here I am, hello. Welcome to this little tutorial. This is a little nine by nine house, little starter house. You know what it's like when you go into a server, maybe your friend's server, you don't know if you're gonna be back, and he or she says, hey, why don't you make a little house? And you think, well, what do I make? I wanna make something cool, compact, not too big, not gonna to commit too much time to this person's server. Maybe this little nine by nine house would work. It does have extra blocks sticking out the sides. It's not quite nine by nine. It's nine by nine with, with one extra block on the back. So it has a tower, it has two roofs, it has a balcony. Let me take you inside. It has a little step up here, plenty of space for your accoutrements, your crafting places as well. It has a beautiful basement as well. It's kind of fortified because it's hard to get to this basement without kind of just jumping over the wall and injuring yourself and then you've got a little furnace down here with the smoke go, uh, imagining going up a little pipe there uh, you've got a tower going up to maybe a bell at the top there and then up here there is a little bedroom space as well plenty of room for storage and then through here you've got uh, a balcony as well sticking out. It's a nine by nine version of pretty much this house here, which is a 17 by 17 version. So if you'd like to build this one instead, I'll put the link to this particular house in the description and then check out the playlist in the down below as well, because there's plenty other 17 by 17 or nine by nine builds. Of course, these all use the Andy Zoda five by five building system. Let's learn how to build this. So this little house starts with a nine by nine hole in the ground. So make a nine by nine space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine by nine hole in the ground. Make it two blocks deep and put your choice of flooring down. I've just gone simply for stone. We're going to need to, um, why are you over there ladder? Take away this corner like that. And then these five blocks round like that. Just to extend for the base of the tower. So wrap this cobblestone round like that and then increase the size of your floor because this is where the ladder is going to go up. So once you've done that, we can grab some of these blocks, the stone bricks, mossy stone bricks and cracked stone bricks and start to build in our tower. So I like to have mossy stone bricks at the base of a tower and then maybe on the inside have just kind of normal blocks like that one or two more mossy blocks and then you can maybe add some cracked as well so it should look something like that and that is the base of your tower now for the rest of the inside of this build we're going to need to add in some windows so to do that we're going to need cobblestone stairs which I've handily forgotten to put out so let's grab some cobblestone stairs and we're going to put a cobblestone stair right there and that's going to help to form our window and um, we're going to have one over here as well and then over here and here so you can see there's one block in from the corner one block in one block in one block in and we can even have another window right here also so that's where the windows are going to be so we may as well add in our iron bars which i've also forgotten genius iron bars Yep, the iron bars are going to go right above here, where these windows are, like that. And then either side of the window, just fill it up with regular cobblestone. I'm missing out the corners um, for now. Well, I'm missing out a few of the corners for now. Actually, no, I don't want to miss out any corners. <laughs> Let's just put all the corners in. What am I talking about? That's a space we do want to miss out. That is where the stairs are going to go up. We're going to be having these spruce stairs right here. So you can see it's just a couple of blocks in from the side. Wrap this cobblestone all the way around. And there we go. That defines our windows. But we need to add one more layer on. This is where these smokers come in. They add a real nice touch. I'm going to face the kind of letterbox in the way. But it's a nice way of joining the stone to the wood above. So we're going to have one there. We're going to have one there as well. In fact, I'm going to face that one in the way like that. So we definitely can't see the letterbox. And we're going to face that one there. So we face in the way with the letterbox. Add on more cobblestone. But not above the windows. Because above the windows, what we're actually going to do is do an upside down cobblestone stair. So I'll just hold the camera there for a few seconds. I'll let you catch up. And then we go upside down cobblestone stair 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 oh not there 
that's our walkway in and we get to this position right there awesome great progress so there is our nice deep basement uh, right in the middle we're going to add four blocks of cobblestone one two three four and just come right across there to that smoker underneath that we can make a kind of an archway with upside down cobblestone stairs like so let's grab some different ingredients we're going to need this time smooth stone slabs oak slabs and oak logs um, spruce stairs spruce trap doors a furnace and a cobblestone wall actually also grab yourself some oak trap doors and a barrel and I'm going to start to decorate this basement of course you can do it in a different manner but I think those barrels look mighty fine in the corner so I'm going to add three of them like that uh, let's go for yeah oak logs across here here and here just reaching in to the middle underneath those oak logs you could put some upside down spruce stairs if you want that would be optional um, here we designed a little shelving unit looks quite cool I won't spend too long on this you can design your own interiors really can't you there we go a little shelving unit underneath the um, the oak log here we're gonna have uh, underneath the log here we're gonna put a furnace and then link this cobblestone up here like this with a cobblestone block there so the little smoke from the furnace can travel up there and we're gonna be placing a smoker right actually there later on in the build Great stuff. Now we're working on the walkway in. You've got one spruce stair there. You want to provide an upside down one there and then one on top. So we get up to, oh no, fat, no, we don't. No, we don't. What am I doing? You want an, uh, a, a spruce stair there. That upside down one is correct, actually, sorry. And then a spruce trap door across like so. To stop people falling into the basement, you could add these little barriers like that that works out nicely and that is the way into the build oh just realized we want another smoker right there that is perfect and I've made a little mistake in this build so I do apologize these blocks here don't want to be on because this is going to be all smooth stone slabs with an extra bit there there and there to look like little crenellations in the corner very very cool indeed um so next we want to go for some oak slabs and just fill that detail in there and over here now this is the second time i've recorded this so these oak trapdoors i'll probably place again in the next part of the tutorial but there we go we are good for now now we can get ready to put on the upper levels. Okay, so next we're gonna build the tower and the basic frame of this whole build, all these nice uprights with a stripped oak log. Anyway, let's start with, not you, with this, the stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, and mossy stone bricks. The tower is another 11 blocks on top of this one, so another 11 to go up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, just like that. And we need to go up all four sides. Now, what I do recommend is you use some mossy blocks as well. We go up a certain distance and also some cracked blocks as well. And you can kind of put them in random spots as well. Anyway, let's fill this all in and then we'll cut some windows out of it. So as the tower gets higher and higher, there's less mossy blocks. I feel they work better at the bottom of a build. And then the cracked builds, the cracked blocks can kind of go pretty much anywhere you like. But as it gets towards the top, it's just looking a lot fresher. So there we go. Uh, what we will do at this stage also is grab some spruce slabs and spruce fences and just finish off the top of the tower. So I like to do these little simple towers. Upper slabs of spruce. 
more slabs of spruce there and one to finish off on the top. Then I like to cut in here with a couple of blocks here to give a little kind of a viewing gallery, little outpost, make a ladder up to get to this tower. And you can also have in there, you could have a bell. A bell or a lamp would be fine. I'm gonna put a bell this time. Spruce fence and spruce fence. So we're gonna come down by two blocks and add in some windows. So two blocks from here, one, two, there's a window and then a gap of three, one, two, three, and then another window right there at that height. And that ends up being at eye level. If we take away these blocks, we can actually get into our tower and you can see that that window there is at eye level. And did I put some more windows on this side? I didn't actually put windows on that side, but you could do, I think we should. Let's put some windows here and then one, two, three blocks down, we'll have another window just there. That's gonna be awkward, because that's probably the wall where the, the ladder is. Ah, that's why I didn't have windows. Silly Billy. So there we go. The ladder, uh, the tower is complete, and we're ready to uh, build the rest of this place. Let me clear my inventory and grab some of these things. So let's grab oak logs, stripped oak logs. We're going to need um, none of them. No, just, just this lot, I think, just now. Let's grab all these oak products here. Stripped, normal. Oak stairs, um, yeah, that should do us, that should do us. Right, so let's starting off with stripped oak log. You can see we go one, two, three, four blocks there, and then one, two, three blocks at the side. So this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, like so. And then round here on this side, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and actually take that one away because we're gonna be having some oak log come through there in a minute. Um, around on this side again, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and take that one away. And yeah, this oak log is gonna fire through right there in that direction. And it sticks out by one actually because it's gonna form the balcony. So same thing over here, we'll just stick that out, and bring that along like that. That'll do for now. Uh, we'll finish that off in just a second. Okay, so what we want to do now is come around to this side so we can finish off that log. And then we need to climb up here with five of these again. One, two, three, four, five, I think. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that should match that block right there. And that means we can bring this oak log and just connect it right across there like so. Okay, this one here goes pretty high. This one goes up to seven. Four, five, six, seven. High on that one. And that is basically the whole of the, the major construction pillars of this done. Uh, apart from here, we need to go one, two, three, like this one. And I'm gonna put some temporary blocks here because we're gonna stick these blocks in this direction so you can see the beautiful end facing uh, of the stripped logs like that. We want another couple of those as well, like that. And that's left us some beautiful spaces for windows and for doors. Um, we're gonna um, put this along here as well, all facing up the way nicely like that. And then same on the other side. We'll bring that one right through the build as if it's just sort of carrying on through and then seal these bits up here uh, as well. So let me just hold the camera there. You can copy that side. And then round here, hold the camera, pause the video if you need to, count the blocks. We've got one, two, three, gap, and then one. And then one, two, three, four. Three's on the end. This side here looks pretty good as well. Can't complain. All right, so let's add in some oak stairs in quite a few places. This is a good job to get done, ticked off. So upside down oak stairs, and I think it provides a nice kind of a differentiation, a kind of a line, a join between the cobble and the wooden part of this build. Same on this end right here, a couple of them. Um, over here, on this side, we're gonna do one right there. And then down here as well, two, three. Uh, on this end, 
Oh, we do need to put another line here of strip. Now it goes up one, two, I think it's just three blocks. Yeah, three blocks high. So one, two, three, like that. Oak stairs here and here. And then around the corner here, we've got oak stairs upside down there, there, and there. And also one, two, like that. There we go, very cool. So what's happening inside here? We do need to actually put these blocks back in, one and two, like that. That just confirms that little alleyway here. You can come down and get down into the basement. Do we not have any light down here? Maybe we should have a little bit of light down here at last. There we go. Bit of light there and there. Looks very nice. Okay, that cobblestone's coming through. And we might as well just continue this ladder all the way up so that if you wanted, oops, have a bit of ladder there, please, you could actually ring the bell. Oh, <laughs> why did my bell not ring? Oh, what am I doing wrong? I tried to ring the bell. Why is it not ringing? Does it need a, a chain? Maybe it needs a chain to hang down a bit. Can I go down, please? There we go. Chain, bell. Is the bell not gonna go on the chain? Oh, wonderful. I forgot they don't go on chains. Let's just stick any old fence up here. And I'm getting bogged down in bell, bell territory now. And I fall now all the way down the ladder. Come on, this has got to work. Why isn't it ringing? My bell's not ringing. Answers in the comments. What am I doing wrong? I'm such a noob when it comes to things like that. Right, I just build. <laughs> I really just build. Why is that there? I don't know why that was there. That shouldn't be there. All right. Yeah, this place is looking really, really cool. Let's um, get some trap doors. So we've got spruce. We've got oak trap doors. Let's get rid of all these things. And we've got some jungle trap doors as well. Let's get busy with these. Let's start round here, I feel. So we're going to go oak, oak, oak. Spruce, 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 oak, oak, spruce, spruce. There we go, that's that wall complete. <clears throat> um, let's switch around to this side here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go like this. It's gonna go temporary, 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 oak, oak, actually um, jungle right in the middle, like that. So they sit like that and then <clears throat> sneakily above them on this side you get the spruce trap doors. You get that little um, differentiation in depth there which looks very very cool but you get this windowsill open here which is beautiful because I've put some uh, flower pots on it and just adds a real nice quality to the build. Um, we'll grab a door while we're here and just ticking off jobs before we reach our roof. So there we go, door right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can make this a little bit safer here for people walking across our little walkway here by just adding in a few trap doors like that. Let's have one just there as well. Brilliant. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here we've got spruce trap door. And then on this side as well, I think it's spruce trap door, spruce trap door, if I remember. Yo, we need three of them. We need three of them here. So one, two, three two, three. On this side, we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, and then jungle trap door right in the middle. Again, the nice thing about that is you've got that, you've got that shelf ready for maybe putting on um, a little bit of internal storage and so on. Not to block that major kind of the main window there, but that looks quite cool. I like that. Nice way of doing a window. Um, on this one, Oh, we're going to go glass. So we're actually going to make a little gap of two and go for glass on this window here. So a little bit of luxury, a little bit of expense has been spended. Does that make sense? Expense has been spended? I don't know. We splashed out on some glass smashing. Okay, a couple of Trapidorus Maximus right there. And this place is looking mighty fine. I think we're just ready for the roof now, I believe. Um, we may as well do the chimney while we're 
we've got things open up. So grab yourself some cobblestone. Is that infested? No, I just want normal cobblestone, please. So bring up this. Oh no, here we can put um, a smoker, right? It would make sense that some of the smoke coming up from the fire below would come to the smoker and you were able to smoke things and preserve, preserve the meat. So we need one, two, three. That should join on nicely to the oak beams there. And then we need one cobblestone right there, two more cobblestone walls, and then you can finish off that chimney any way you want. Maybe a plant pot would look good on side. Uh, we have chosen a cobblestone slab. There we go. Yep, we are definitely ready for the roof. Now, what have we done here? Let me double check. This is probably ah, more glass, more glass, <coughs> excuse me, and oak stairs. It's one bit of oak, one bit of glass, one oak stair. Now, while we're here, we may as well do the balcony and it just sticks out like this. We definitely, yep, let's stick that out. So we have that there and that there, upside down oak stairs, and then the balcony can get finished off like that. There we go, beautiful, beautiful way of doing things. Let's put on little barriers around the, the balcony. First of all, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do this. Great commentary, Andy. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this. How about that, what do you think? I think that's rather cool. Um, let's add in, while we're thinking about it, let's add in some spruce trap doors right here. And we'll be putting in a door very shortly as well. So let me just temporarily put a little space there where the door is going to be. We can actually place that door down. I think, is that the right place for these? <laughs> let me just double check here. I think we've done everything fine. Yeah, that looks fine. Everything's fine. Double checking. That looks good as well. Um, we can work on the inside of this build as well just now, just because we are, we don't know the roof on, we can kind of see what we're doing. So bring these slabs across like that. And when you kind of get to there, that's where we're gonna have a ladder up to get to the top of the build here. This is probably where the bedroom is gonna be. But we can extend this across, we can keep going like that. And I think, how far across did I have this? I can't remember. Let's go and have a little peek inside. Yeah, I just ended it there actually, and I and I put a barrier on it as well. I just ended it right there. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I just end it there. So that goes oops, that goes there. Do you know what? I think we can improve on that. Let's put these this side. That gives you just a, a little bit more space. You can put some, uh, you can put a bed here. You can put chests there as well. Okay, great. I think it's time to put on the roof. And for that, we need spruce stairs, spruce slabs, oak slabs, oak stairs. We may as well grab our lighting as well with chains and lanterns. So we're going to put a double slab there, commonly known as just a block. <laughs> That's our first target key block to put on. Put on three stairs like that, two the correct way up and one upside down. And then we can finish off this very teeny tiny build with one, two, three, four slabs like that. And then same deal over here as well. We need these kind of blocks of spruce planks here and then spruce stair one two three oops three four don't forget your upside downs spruce slabs we can do the same over here on this side so we need our block of planks there two spruce stairs one upside down and then one two three just like that cool um, this 
is kind of an option here. You could bring that up if you want, or you can have it look like that. If you bring it up, it looks like that, which I think doesn't look too bad. But if you don't like that, you can just make it spruce. I think I'm going to make it spruce across this. Let's bring this spruce right across there. And we can bring this spruce right across here, like that. And we're ready to add a bit more spruce right here, spruce stairs, like so. And then these spruce stairs can come across like that. And these ones, where else do we need spruce stairs? Oh yes, around the back. Like that. And then we can uh, head to oak land. And then just bring these stairs across, super simple. Some slabs. And then over here, we've got more oak stairs to come right across behind the chimney there. And then some oak slabs as well. There we are. Let's finish off this roof down here. So obviously this bit needs to be oak stairs. And then oak slabs. And then oak slabs. Um, oh, we forgot about these spruce stairs here. I knew there was something bothering me. They can go all the way to there. Maybe turn that one like that. That looks quite cool. Did I do that over there? I didn't. So you could turn that one there. Looks maybe a little bit nicer. And then to finish things off, oak stairs like that. And that's pretty much your build complete. All you've got to do now is really just have fun decorating it. So here are some suggestions. Did I put that one there? Yep. Just adding in some chains right here, maybe one there. And then adding in your lanterns. Just brings the place alive. There we go. And you could have one here, maybe just looking kind of like that. Looks quite smart actually. Isn't it a bonny looking build? I think it's an awesome little build. Let me show you some of the other details I've put in. So little ferns, either side of these windows look quite smart. Vines hanging down, just give that place its rustic vibe. Uh, loads of vines on the tower, maybe the tower would be the oldest part of the build, would have more ancient vines on it. Uh, a few strategically placed um, bits of scaffolding or barrels on the outside looks very, very good as well. More vines here. Oh, so with, with these bushes, I actually just cut right in here like that to make these kind of hang down and cut in there with the bush uh, as well. I think this gives a really, really nice effect to it, especially when the, the vines are on it as well. Up here, I added some, some fungi and a little birch sapling as well. And on the inside, we've got a little working area here, plenty of room for storage. Um, Plenty of room for kind of crafting stuff over here. Place is looking okay, isn't it? And then the basement and then up here is just your tower. This is not the staircase I'm looking for. This is the staircase I'm looking for. Up here, just put a couple of beds, a few chests on shelves over there. <laughs> if you want to disguise the bushes, you can uh, as well. Maybe do it like that so it's symmetrical. But there we go. There's not many windows up here, so you could if you want could you add a window? You could maybe add some sort of window up here. I think if you remove one of these blocks, you won't be able to see out. But you could actually also dig in a little bit more storage as well, which is mighty sneaky as well. So there's an added bonus of a lot. Actually, a lot of storage. Maybe just add one here. So look at all that storage. So much storage up here. And of course, your own little balcony with a few pots on as well. But there we go. That is the little 9 by 9 house with the sneaky extra bit on the corner. Gives you the staircase. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you would uh, like more of them, let me know what you'd like me to build in the comments. And hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 500,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. And if you help me hit that goal, I'd be very, very much appreciated. Especially since we're going to be having a building competition to mark the 500k with some awesome prizes. Uh, at the end of August. Thank you so much for watching. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.